please call me Lydia. This is my story, and it is true. I lived alone and had for many years after 50 years of marriage. Bereft of husband now, a childless marriage. For decades, held a job before retirement, now in my 90s, still completely independent, proudly self-reliant. I lived alone, no family, no friends. I have outlived them all. All that is except one sister and that sister's children who live so far away from me, a city in a distant land. And so I lived alone. I will not tell them of the shame of my present situation. I am still quite defiant, unwilling even now to give up or acknowledge what de facto has been lost, that being control of my own life, as good as gone these last three years. I live that nightmare that you hold in dread that in old age you may be locked away some place where you must stay until you die forgotten and alone and calling out to any passers-by imploring that they notice you and stop a while and listen while you tell them why you cannot stay how you don't want to be here anymore and how the hospital the hospital won't let you leave. Worst nightmare of your own old age. Abandonment by family and friends. Hopeless or worse yet, not allowed to help yourself, though able. Oh yes, that is so much worse than being merely helpless. I lived alone. It seemed to me that life was good and I controlled entirely my life and no one interfered, but that was life before I had that fall. A broken leg, the ambulance, the hospital, the hospital reset the fracture, the hospital, the hospital moved me to a room where I would remain until the leg had healed. But then the hospital, the hospital would not release me. The hospital, the hospital for three years has maintained that at my age I cannot go back home on my own and unassisted, unsupervised, and unattended. Meanwhile, the hospital, the hospital has been draining my bank account Half my savings gone now, while I have lived three years in relative seclusion in a room in the hospital. The hospital. I do not blame myself. I am not angry with myself. No, I am angry with a world that will allow a hospital, this hospital, to imprison someone not helpless, me, Precisely because I will not accept having someone strange come to live with me. No, I'll not have it. I refuse their so-called help. But nobody listens. Anger and frustration are slowly changing me. I am now officially considered paranoid and hostile. <laughs> but I am still on this side of near madness, still defiant. Still I maintain an iron will demanding my release, though no one listens. And so I pull on your sleeve, demand attention, make you stop, and try to make you hear what I tell you. But you only think that I am but a sad and lonely creature, and when you look at me, you see yourself, and you are so afraid of what you see that you hear nothing. I have lived these last few years descending into madness in a hell that I cannot escape. It is a cruel death. But the hospital, the hospital does not allow itself to see that what it does is cruelly wrong to so prolong my enforced stay. I need a kind and generous heart, some good stranger to lend a sympathetic ear, to hear my plight and find a way to take me to my home 
to get me out the door and far away from here? But even if that angel ever comes and all is changed and I am home again, the hospital, the hospital has stolen that from me which can never be returned nor be forgiven. Three years of these, no doubt, among my last. Now at an age when few more years are given. Right on. Woo!